My name is Ryan Reinhardt Decker. I study furniture design and I'm a junior at App State. I got into 3D design and digital art in high school when I took game design classes at my local community college. So we learned 3D modeling using Maya. Uh, and ever since then, I have found a love for 3D. Starting out, um, I met a good friend of mine, John Michael, and their band, America's Mistake. And I started doing projections for them at a variety of venues. And through that, I met other people who wanted me to do projections for them. And soon I was doing projections for uh, many shows around the town. I realized after a while that it wasn't the act of projecting I enjoyed, but it was the act of making the visuals. So I kind of broke away from doing projections for live shows and started making the visuals on my own. So for the summer, I set myself a goal of doing one render every single day. And originally it was just gonna be for the duration of summer and I realized that was pretty much exactly 100 days. So I set that to be a goal. So for 100 days, did a render, tried to teach myself to program more, uh, try different styles and figure out you know, where I wanted to go. And it was fun, uh, it got very time consuming where I was spending four or five hours every night trying to bust out this, this render and it got pretty frustrating when I would post something that I wasn't proud of. But, but yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a good practice and I can definitely see improvement even in that short time frame. Usually, um, my creative process, how I get started, is say it's for an animation, um, especially music videos. I have uh, a heavy connection to music, so a lot of times I'll be able to listen to a song and visualize a, a video for it well before I even open any program or do any sketches or anything. There was one book that I read that heavily influenced me and helped me to start pursuing uh, creative works of my own. The book's Mastery by Robert Greene, and it kind of dispels the rumor that these creative masters are just born that way, that they're hyper-talented. Creativity and mastery all comes from uh, dedicated work and discipline, and just having a smart outlook, and just, just working, really, just disciplining yourself and constantly working and constantly creating and trying to better yourself. So uh, I definitely started focusing on my creative process where every waking moment I have, every free moment, I'm trying to further myself in some way. I, I tell myself that if I'm not creating something, furthering my career or garnering inspiration, then I'm wasting my time. Even if like that's like watching a movie or stuff, something, I still try and make it inspirational in a way uh, where I'll watch something that I know will influence me or help me or even be a documentary or something like that. Um, and I found myself, I, a lot of my free time I end up spending watching tutorials and stuff instead of, instead of messing around anymore just because that's what I love and that's what I want to do. And I know that in this post-industrial age, this post-modern age that we live in, with the internet it's much, it's easier now than ever to make a living doing what you want and being a creative. And once I realized that, I realized that all of that's holding me back is myself and my lack of discipline and my lack of hard work. So I'm trying to change that. I, I'm really interested in trying to push 3D art forward in a way that I haven't seen too frequently. I feel like a lot of digital art is stuck in the software that it's created in and it feels heavily digital. And I really am interested in using 3D art and digital art as a painter might use a different type of paint or a different paintbrush. And a lot of times I'll look back to the classics, the masters of painters um, that inspire me and try and translate some of those ideas or stylistic cues into this more modern and future uh, medium of 3D art. And that can usually produce some interesting results as well. So.